What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, people. I'm going to talk about a topic because a lot of us were talking about before it got to the, to the mainstream media. Now they're hopping aboard. Now the mainstream media is hopping aboard and frightening the fuck out of people. Well, they should be frightened. They should have known about this. But I'm going to talk about ISIS. They are the richest, quote unquote, terrorist group. They make millions every day. That's not counting the 60 million they got whenever we sent fucking 60 million to rebels of Syria. Who do you think got that 60 million? Who got a lion's share of it at least? Think about it, people. Back to the lecture I had. You know, they're the wealthiest terror group on the planet. And the off this then they they're an Al Qaeda offshoot. Like the president called them the J V team. They got their letter. You know, they're 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 grossing nearly twelve million a month. Now let me explain so you can when they're getting this twelve million a month. The the sixty million factor but they they got let me tell you, you, you can't get half of Syria and they don't know they didn't get any money from us. Let's put it that way. We gave Syria sixty million and all of a sudden they rose up from the ashes. I'm just saying. But the other part is they're getting money from the Saudis and the Qataris. And the reason we're getting money from the Saudi to Qatar is because they want to encroach in on southern uh, southern Iraq, which has rich oil fields, and they want and they're Sunni Muslims anyway, and they're and they're all mostly these Wahhabists or Sunnis, so they want to take that land. Like and I told you this before, Dr. West, uh, Infowars, a lot of people are saying this. Iran takes the northern part, I mean the northeastern part, down to maybe Baghdad. Kurdistan will be like up north. to be a little western thing with the Saudis and Qataris, and they're they're funding all this. You guys need to look deep. And I, I said in another video, and this is true. The Saudis and the Qataris, and here's the ironic part: ISIS is the ex Baathist. You know, the ex Baathist. If you, if you look at the, the ISIS, they have a lot. Like I want to, I might get like this is why I see helicopters and I get. Black Lincolns and everything. People in ISIS. I just my phone, so I just gotta check my phone. People in ISIS have pictures of not only the black ISIS flag. Every once in a while, you'll see a, a picture of Saddam Hussein. It's not, it's not no, you know, coincidence. What these people are in ISIS are ex Baathists. And the real ironic part to this is the Baathists are the ones who have gone and invaded Qatar. Kuwait, I mean, they invaded Kuwait, and they, they almost encroached the Qatar, and uh, and they almost did their little thing in Saudi Arabia. They to, uh, they, remember when Iraq wasn't too fun? That's when they were the Saudis and the Kuwaitis were like, "Hey, come help us." But the ironic part is now is apparently since Al Malaki, when he got in charge, they couldn't work with him because he's a Shiite, and Shiites are like mostly Iranians, like like Iran's most it's a Shiite. Like I said, the, the Islamic faith is no different from the Christianity faith. Everything's because they're a Muslim, they're all religious. You're a Christian, you're not religious. It's all branches and all that. But back to lecture at hand. What is... Hold on. Go on. See, I'm here with them and they're asking if they should do this and that. We do a lot of work here. But uh, back to what I was saying. The, the Kuwaitis... The Qataris and the and, uh, Saudis are funding ISIS, which used to be the Baathists, which didn't like them to begin with. So, it's one big pile of, you know, but let me talk about like, 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 what I was talking like, I got these dudes over here, we got computers over here. We look all this stuff up, they throw me something to talk about, and I'm just talking. Sometimes they want to be stupid, and I got to crack the whip. So, I'm out of here. Peace. Great guy. He told me to myself.